So remember at the beginning of the talk I told you that I discovered along my studies that 80 to 90 percent of the people who use drugs don't have a problem. They go to work and they have some mundane, boring experience about their drug use. Experiences that don't make it into documentary films or into bad TV shows or into newspaper articles that are salacious and incredible, incredible being unbelievable, right? They don't make it into these experiences. So if you got, if you got an institution focused primarily on pathology and they fund 90% of the world's research in this area, what do you have? You have a disproportionate focus on pathology. And what does that mean for what gets published in the scientific literature? What does that mean for training, the training of those scientists in the newspapers? What does that mean for your drug education? It means that you've been bamboozled. You've been hoodwinked. You've been lied to. That's what it means. That's what it means. And so, when you couple this with the fact that scientists in general tend to err on the side of caution, and in this case, caution means bad effects, as if there are no consequences to that act, to that action. If there were no consequences to erring on the side of caution, that'd be cool, wouldn't be a big deal. You wouldn't have me talking. But there are consequences, right? The consequences are this. This sort of thinking and this behavior helps to create an environment in which certain drugs are deemed evil, pathological. Any use of it is considered pathological. And so now the society has to focus on ridding itself of that drug or those drugs. And that is what has happened in your society, in my society. 